Man, it's been such a long time since I've had the chance to narrate a battle myself. Obviously, last week was Ferris week, and so kind of got uh, editing and uploading those. You know, we pre-recorded them, so I wasn't really doing much Pokemon-wise. Haven't battled in a while, but yesterday, had a stream, had some battles. This was one of them against Strato Artico. I think I've played before, and uh, we're going with a standard game. Uh, as you can see, I've just put some things together with rain as a general theme and uh, that's what we're going to run with. So uh, I decide to lead off with my Scizor as he leads off with Celebi. Um, now obviously I'm afraid of the Hidden Power Fire to begin with so I'm going to go into Black Curum uh, just to scout whether he has it but seeing him switch out initially shows me that he probably doesn't and he's just afraid of my Scizor. So he goes into his Scizor to take potential U-turn um, whereas I go into Black Curum to you know deal with the Hidden Power Fire and then Outrage Spam until you know everything is dead or, or something to that effect and really no I just decided to go into Black Curum and, and hit something but because Scizor is staring me in the face my first thought initially is just like bullet punch I'm like I need to get out of there best thing to take bullet punch is Rotom so I just go straight into it without thinking and I kind of screw up because he ends up super powering and it does a freaking fuck ton to me nice thing about this situation though is that I can easily pain split on him he's slower than me and he obviously has the lowered attack so he's not gonna be doing as much damage now I need to explain this here because originally we played this match and it DC'd so the first few turns are us replaying what we did before however he makes a mistake here because he doesn't remember what he did he switched into Latias on this hit and obviously Latias would make much more sense because it could take the Volt Switch, it can take the Hydro Pump it can take the Will-O-Wisp uh, and so I initially got a Pain Split off on a Latias in opposed to the T-Tar um, and then after he switched into Latias then he switched to T-Tar straight away as I Will-O-Wisp on the Switch so his T-Tar was burned originally his his Latias had taken down from Pain Split, but because none of that happened, I end up Pain Splitting the T-Tar, missing my Will-O-Wisp, and him hitting Stone Edge and killing Rotom. So now I'm like, well, fuck, we've completely screwed up the entire sequence of this match at this point. We're just going to have to try and get it back to a point at which it was before it DC'd, which was my Tornadus T against his Heatran. So, originally what had happened was I did bring Politoed in on the T-Tar um, after being pursued out with Rotom, but uh, I decided to double switch to Tornadus T because I knew his Celebi would come in. And then I had uh, my Tornadus T versus his Celebi. Obviously, the threat of a hurricane is large, and so he went into his Heatran, and that's kind of what we're trying to recreate here apart from he goes into his Latias instead of his Celebi but as you can clearly see ladies and gentlemen I'm not running Hurricane on my Tornadus T completely different to that I'm running a physically based Tornadus T I'm running sub with bulk up with brick break and with acrobatics and a flying gem now ladies and gentlemen I'll tell you a very good reason for using this set not only is it actually pretty damn good and uh, useful in the right situation but Tornadus T being so obvious a Pokemon. It's just the same set every time. It's either Specs or it's Life Orb, and it carries the same moves. It's very easy to know what a Tornado's T does every time you see it on a rain team. So I thought, this time, I'm going to take the Bulk Up variant and put it on a rain team and see what happens there. See if I get any benefit from this, because I would telegraph myself as being a Hurricane variant, and then set up a sub and start Bulk Upping, and everything would be happy and jolly and fantastic. And such is the case, ladies and gentlemen, because as you can see, Managed to get up two bulk ups behind the sub. His Heatran set up Stealth Rock and then protected. Uh, he probably has Lava Plume as well, which means he can't break my sub because the rain is active. So I'm pretty much set to go. And his Heatran didn't have Raw either. So things were looking great. I initially Brick Break to see how much damage it did and then bulked up uh, after that. But at this point, he has to bring his Latios to break my sub with a Dragon Pulse as he's Scarfed. Uh, and then I take him out with a Flying Gem Booster Acrobatics. Just clean. Clean dead. Uh, goes into Scizor. Physically based priority is definitely going to be his downfall here because I am physically based defensively, as it were. I have plus two defense at the current point after the bulk up, meaning that I can take the bullet punch. No afraidness of being killed there whatsoever. So at this point, he's basically got himself in a sticky situation. He needs to use Sandstorm to kill me because he has no other way of doing so. I outspeed his entire team um, and I assume because he hasn't brought in his Landris, that thing isn't scarfed. So the basic thing that he wants to do is to bait me into moves, specific moves, and waste as much time as he can so that I'll die 
about die eventually to Sandstorm. However, I knew exactly what he was going to do. Goes into T-Tar to bait the Brick Break, which he saw earlier. And uh, I just go for the Acrobatics because I know he's going to go straight into Celebi to take the uh, predicted Brick Break. Um, kill him straight on the Switch. Goes into T-Tar now. And now I'm thinking he's going to make me think he's going to double Switch again. And therefore perhaps think I'm going to go for the Acrobatics. But no. Knowing that he did that previous, I'm going to go under the assumption, you know, just how people work mentally. That his thought was, I'm going to stay in this time. He's going to over predict. Doesn't happen. I Brick Break him clean and he's done. Now he goes into Heatran. Another bit of a mental thing because he's using Protect to scout what I'm thinking. And so I go initially for the Brick Break. And then potentially he may think I'm going to go for the Acrobatics on this turn. Thinking that Landris is going to come in. Because Landris obviously resists the Brick Break. But no, I went against that. It was definitely much less risky to go for the Brick Break. Because had he switched Landris in, Acrobatics would have ended up killing it on the next turn. And uh, if he'd switched back to Heatran, then I would have brick breaked again, and it, he couldn't have kept switching because damage would have racked up eventually. And there you go. That's essentially what happens. Uh, I guess it kind of looks like a straightforward sweep, but when you think about the resistances he had on his team and the way that he could have juggled them around to get the Sandstorm to eventually kill me, it made it quite interesting. Definitely a very interesting end to the game, and um, I fucking just floatsy, floatsy, my friend. The physically based bulk up. Tornadus T. Try him out. Try out a, a physical Tornadus T with bulk up. I, I really like using it and it genuinely worked here. It genuinely did. So, um, thank you very much for watching, people. I hope you enjoyed this rather short video. Um, I will, of course, be back with more battles very soon. Uh, I have a few backed up right now, which is nice. And I will potentially be streaming again uh, in sometime in the near future. So, definitely keep an eye out on the channel. Keep an eye out on everything else. And uh, that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.